All right then, my friends. So this is coming along pretty swimmingly. Now, if there are any errors, we're showing them here on the form. If there's no errors, what we need to do now is redirect the user to the home page. OK, so that's what we're going to do in this video. So if we go to the PHP code right now, what we need to do when a user submits the form, all this code runs right at the bottom of this code. Then what we need to do is check. Are there any errors? If there's not any errors, that means the form is valid. And it means that then what I'm going to do is redirect that user to the home page or some other page. And if there are errors, then I'm actually not going to do anything. I just won't do the redirect because if I don't do anything, then we're going to have those errors populated inside this array. And then when we send the template back to the user, it's going to show those errors right here. OK, so that's the steps that we need to take. At the bottom, first of all, we need to check, are there any errors? OK, then. so how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to use a method called array underscore filter. And we're going to pass in the errors array. That's the array we defined at the top with any potential errors inside them. Now, how does this work, this function array filter? Well, array filter cycles through our array and it performs some kind of callback function on each one. We can define the callback function in here. Now, if we don't define a callback function, it still cycles through the array. And if all the positions in that array are empty or evaluate to false, which remember an empty string does in loose comparison, then this statement itself will evaluate to false as well. Now, if there are errors that are not empty inside it, then it will evaluate as true. So that's a nice little way to check an error array to see if there are any errors inside it. OK, so remember, if there are no errors inside this, it will return to false. So when it returns to false, it means we don't have an error. If it returns true, it means we do have an error. So if it returns true, what we're going to do for now is say echo. There are errors in the form. OK. Spell this correctly, form. If it returns false, then we'll do an else statement. And returning false means that there's no errors here. For now, we'll just echo form is valid. All right. So I hope that makes sense what we've just done there. So now let's go over to the form itself. And I'm going to just submit this. And we see that the form is valid. There's no errors here. But if I start to do something that's not valid here, and submit it, we can see now we have errors in the form and we do right here. So now we've made that little check. We can see if there's any errors in the error array using this array filter method. Now what we want to do instead of echoing something out, we want to redirect the user. Now we don't want to redirect them here. We want to in fact do nothing here because at this point there's errors. And if there's errors, we don't want to do anything. We just want to carry on down the file make up the HTML template and send that back to the user with those errors so they can correct them. Now then, if there's no errors, that's when we want to take action. That's when we want to redirect them right here. So how do we redirect a user? Well, we use a very simple method called header. And then inside that, we pass in a little string that says location. And that will be to the index.php. So all we're saying is we want the location to go now from here to the index.php file. So on the server, we're now going to go to the index.php file, run this and send that back to the browser instead of this at the bottom. That's if there's no errors. So let's save this and I'm going to carry on with an error. I'll put something down here as well. So there's multiple errors. Submit it. OK, we're not redirected. But if we take those errors away, if we make this correct, and then submit it. Now we go to the index. Look at that. So that's fine. Now in the future, instead of just redirecting to the index here, what we're going to do is save the data to the database. So we'll do that first, then we'll redirect to the index. OK, because we want to only save data to the database if it's valid. And this is where we're going to do it. So I hope that makes sense. That's how we easily check for errors using array filter and then redirect using this header function right here.